Welcome, welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. We got a new unboxing today. Uh, maybe, maybe we have an unboxing today. Oh, if I can, there we go. Rip the package open. And we have the Enchanted Map. Now, I'm I'm kind of becoming a fan of Colette Baron Reed. I've been a fan of hers. Um, but now I'm trying to like collect her stuff a little bit. So I'm hoping good things for, for this particular deck. Um, cause I haven't decided if I'm going to be a full on collector of her or just kind of just really take the decks that resonate for me. Um, but I've been looking at this one for a while. It's been around for a while. It's a not new. Let's see. It came out in, doesn't say right there. Um, but it says, I think this is based on a book that she wrote. The Enchanted Map Oracle Cards. Imagine between the invisible or between the visible and the unseen is a guiding force that some call spirit, the holy will, the divine, the field, or consciousness. Using this card deck by Colette Baron Reed will connect you to that larger consciousness and guide you as you travel along on the journey of your life. The themes of these 54 cards represent some of the places you'll visit the conditions you may encounter, and the allies and challengers challengers, you'll meet as you navigate a metaphoric map of your life's journey. The enclosed guidebook will help you ask the right questions and interpret the messages in your readings. The Enchanted Map Oracle cards were created in order to empower you to understand the story of your fate, destiny, and free will, and allow you to chart a course to live a life of deep purpose, true prosperity, and vibrant love. Ooh. Okay, right off the bat, somebody reminded me I'm not doing a good job of like describing the card stack, um, card stock and stuff. But right off the bat, I like the box. Um, it has the little finger holes. Let's see. Um, decent size book, typical of her books. Um, let's see what it has on here purpose of the cards, how to do a reading, sample readings, one card readings, three card readings, six card readings, the soul's intention, and then the definitions. And let's see, I want to see the spreads because I always like those. And, ooh, okay, so here it just has the, the questions, which is the best part. Um, not necessarily the um, layout of the cards, which is fine with me. I'd rather just lay them out. Um, so yeah, I like that it has questions already. And then it has upright and reversed. And just on the one that I opened up to, I don't see any um, necessarily questions, but it does have upright and reverse meanings. So cool. Let's take a look at this deck. Um, cardstock. Um, it's a thinner cardstock, but it's kind of typical for this size. Um, I'm like, I just did a, it's holding, it's holding the bend, but not like some of them. Some of them I've seen them and they just like, the deck is never the same again, you know? Um, I, I want to say it's, you know, decent card stock. I, I think it's fine. All right. So we have number one, the bone collector. Interesting. Number two, there's there's lots of symbolism in this. I mean, I usually read the first, okay, I'm gonna read the first one because I always seem to do that. <laughs> Just so I have a way, to, where to go for the rest of the deck. Okay, Bone Collector, you are whole and have everything you need within. Upright, when the bone collector appears, she is asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you are fully present or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whenever we're wounded, especially when we're young, it's as if something essential is stolen from us. We adapt and accept a version of the truth that then sets us up to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation similar to the original event. What we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a perception of limitation. You may feel unworthy 
unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. The Bone Collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities. She has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding and is here for you as you reclaim it now. You have everything you believe you lack and the Bone Collector is your inner resource. Act as if you have what you need and you'll find you have it after all. Anything is possible. With awareness, the wounds of the past need not define you. And in the reverse, the past has a way of repeating itself when you haven't learned the lesson of the original situation. You're faced with this now. The Bone Collector challenges you to see yourself as a whole being and not one who is perpetually trying to heal an old wound. You repeat the past if you don't reclaim the things you believe were lost. The information you seek lies in your history. Familiarity in this case isn't an invitation to dance the old dance once again. It is a call to retreat and choose differently. The Bone Collector has a message. If you do what you did, you'll get what you got. Her warning is delivered with kindness, for she has deep love and respect for you. She will protect you. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. All right, we're going to just go through the little, um, in the book here, you'll see it has like these little things. So I'm going to read those for you. Uh, the Gentle Gardener. We got some little fairies in here. Um, I wish I could just kind of go a little bit closer, but I'm just kind of not able to. Um, okay, so we've got the gentle gardener. Be your own person. Be a conscious co-creator. Co-creation is one of my favorite um, ideas in all of these kind of like different cards and in the in the journey into self. Um, co-creating what our desires are with Source. Um, yeah, it's kind of a beautiful thought. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Uh, number three, wizard of awareness. Your soul knows best. Be still and observe. Number four, sp spirit of place. Authenticity is the essence of power. Five, goblins. Fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. Six, mountain. You have the capacity to flow around any obstacle. This is the time to adapt. Seven, into the unknown. Trust and all will be revealed. Eight, come together. Love needs to be shared. Nine, storm fields. This too shall pass. 10, rock bottom. Surrender and acceptance are the keys to freedom. I'm liking this deck so far. You know, there's a lot of people who are on the fence. I mean, it's it's been purchased thousands of times, but there are a lot of people who are like on the fence um, about this particular deck. A lot of criticism about the cardstock, which uh, maybe it's thicker now or they, they updated it, but I think the cardstock is fine. Um, I'll shuffle it. I hope they'll remember to shuffle it at the end. <laughs> at the end. All right, balancing act. You are calm within no matter the fluctuation of outer conditions. Twelve, slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Thirteen, solitude. I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. Fourteen, ride the wave. Right now, success is easy and effortless. 15, one ring circus. You are capable and competent. 16, rescue. You are always safe and secure and free to be yourself. 17, ghost lands. You can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you must live in the here and now. 18, magic stream. Pages are stuck. Everything is connected through the universal flow of consciousness. 19, Dragon's Lair. You are always protected and divinely directed. 20, Flying. You have the power to see things from a higher perspective. 21, Field of Dreams. Your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs are always engaging 
the vast field of pure potential. 22, intention. Deliberate, clear intention, or deliberate. Clear intentions have the power to change your world. Golden Palace, there's always enough. Stuck in the mud, you're being invited to stop and savor the wonder of your life. 25, Metamorphosis, you are in the process of deep and beautiful change. 26, deep freeze. Everything has its season. Now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. 27, home. You are comfortable in your own skin. You belong. 28, movement. You are in a time of positive forward motion. 29, Coming to life. Something beautiful is being born in your life. 30. Making a choice. You're required to come to a decision now. 31. Dry desert. Dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. Magic prayer. Speak your prayers. Listen for the answers. Act in faith. 33, Peaks of Joy. Your life is filled with happiness, to share it, so share it with others. 34, Spark. You are a clear channel for divine creativity. 35, Education. Life is filled with lessons. Be teachable. 36, Commitment. A true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, mind, body, and soul. This is a good time to make one. 37. Cleaning house. It is time to clear the clutter to make way for better things. 38. Heal the ouch. Forgiveness is the healer of the soul. 39. Protecting treasure. You are always protected and divinely directed. 40. Follow the leader. Every life is teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. I can't decide if these are angel figures or fairy figures. I think more like fairy figures. Unexpected visitors, number 41. If you expect the unexpected, you'll be prepared for miracles. 42. Wide open, you are free to express your uniqueness to the world and share in all the bounty of life's endless possibilities. 43. Details, details. The most powerful patterns are created within the tiniest details. Pay attention. 44. Strength. Your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from a sincere faith in a higher power. 45. Sad Embrace. Loss is part of life. Let go and allow time to heal you. 46. Coming Apart. Now is the time to take separate paths. Ouch. 47. Sacred Pool. The world is a reflection of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Embody the love you wish to see in the world. 48. <clears throat> wishing well. That wishing well is overflowing. Desire is the sacred impulse for life. Feel it, but let go of all attachment to ownership. 48. I'm like, I do not know how I feel about that picture. It's like it's being carried off by fairies or butterflies or birds um, of some sort. <clears throat> this mask, this golden crowned mask or jester mask. Um, but the well, well itself is 
I just feel like <laughs> I'm just being a smart ass with all it's like throwing your penny in and a bunch of kids coming by and picking them all out. <laughs> anyway. Um all right, so 49 is talisman. A lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for the success you seek. And then we have number 50, compass. As long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. 51, moonlight. Your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical, and analytical. Follow it. 52, Magical Map Shifter. Spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. Ooh. 53, Listening. An open heart will hear the message. 54, Encouragement. You are receiving a nudge in the right direction. I like this so far. I'm not disappointed. One iota. Um... I was worried because the cardstock, um, sometimes, you know, when you have a, an author who does a whole lot of decks, you get similar um, kind of messages or um, you get um, somebody who, I've seen other decks kind of criticized for like lack of knowledge, her decks in particular, like lack of knowledge and in-depth knowledge of certain um, characters because like each kind of part of oracles and stuff like that they all have their own emphasis of study right so chakras or um, the tree of life or um, sacred geometry or nature or um, just symbolism or tarot kind of um, inspired so there's all different you know schools of thought from which people are kind of like coming from in terms of their artwork and in the messages within the artwork um, and in the book um, so sometimes if art there's a artist who does lots of decks sometimes they get repetitive and um, I just haven't found out her stuff I, I'm actually very pleased with her stuff um, I'm actually happy with the shuffling too the cards are not bending up and like holding the shape I mean better than some cards that I have that I use on a regular basis um, so <clears throat> any um, card stock kind of complaints about the deck I would I don't agree with being that I own hundreds of decks at this point, um, I probably am a good judge. And if a card deck can do that and hold its shape, I am pleased. I mean, my hands are small, so like if if I can bend it that much, and so it's comfortable for me to shuffle, and a relatively, I mean, this is a large deck for my hands, you know, like a card deck, a regular card deck, bridge deck, that's comfortable. Let's see. Cards are not sticking together. Some of her other card decks, um, like Wisdom of the Oracle. Ooh. Bone Collector. We already read that one. You'll have to go back to the beginning to listen to it. Um, but uh, I do feel like this deck um, is definitely a journey into self, healing self. Um, I am going to do a card deck reading here. All right, so I'm going to interview this deck. Um, I'm just going to kind of interview this this deck. Um, where'd it go? Okay, and I'm just going to use an interview your deck spread. So what personality does this deck have? Um, obviously, it's going to resonate more with me um, and my my principles and my values um, and when you get your own deck um, you should definitely um, interview it um, yourself you know and see see what you get and how it's going to be most useful to you um, but what personality does this deck have what personality does this deck have I'm actually not even shuffling for cards to come out at the moment I'm just being guided by spirit to shuffle Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right, so in the reversed, this card, the personality of the deck is six in reverse. And the six in reverse is there is an obstacle to your inquiry. This is not the time to move forward. Wait a while, be patient, and a way around the mountain will be revealed. 
Pushing forward isn't your highest good. Don't try to climb too high to grasp the prize. That seems out of reach because it is for now. If you exceed your limits, you'll find yourself tumbling down and you'll get hurt. Remain open to a new possibility rather than stubbornly forging ahead. Um, so I feel like that uh, when you come to a difficulty um, where you need to be patient, that this is the deck to kind of go to, right? Um, what is your strength? What is your strength? That one flipped over there for a second. What is your strength? Your strength is listening. <laughs> In the reverse, I'm afraid. Uh, 53. Are you feeling that you're not being heard, that perhaps your needs aren't valid, that your song will go unsung? Now is the time to bring your message to the world. Speak up. It's time for you to voice, to re, to resound throughout your sphere your, of influence. This is this is a moment to say what you mean and ask for what you want. In the reverse position, listening has another meaning too. It also asks if you're refusing to listen to someone else, preferring to hear what you want instead of what's being said. This is the time to get out of denial. Reversed. This card always brings freedom if you heed its advice. Okay. Um, so I feel like <laughs> when there's a problem that presents itself and you can't move forward, you need, it requires some patience. Um, when you can't um, listen to anyone else, you're going to hear this deck, right? It's going to give you the, the truth. And then uh, that's the strength of this deck is it's going to make you listen where maybe others can't. What is your weakness? I'm like, compassion. I feel like compassion is your weakness. I'm like, this is going to be like, oh no. Okay, so what's your weakness? What's your weakness? What is this deck's weakness? Wow. And we got two cards. Coming together and Golden Palace. Um, so it doesn't do anything for love and it doesn't do anything for, um, it's not going to guide you for love and it's not going to guide you in career. That's totally what I have in that. Um, this is not, this deck for me is just not a wishes fulfilled deck, right? It's just not a wishing deck. Um, if I want this, this is, this is what I'll get. This, this deck is not to come here to, to make a wish. On. I wish my love life were this way. I wish my my career were this way. This is come to me when you're stuck and you have no other choice but to wait. Come to me when you're not listening and you're not hearing what everyone is telling you, what's right in front of your face. Do not come here <laughs> wishing to feel better. Uh, how will you help me grow? Oh, metamorphosis. I think my... Okay, so I, I feel like even though... All right, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I feel like it goes in the upright. I, I put it down in the upright, but I'm going to, okay. Uh, so 25, the metamorphosis is, um, you know, you're just going to grow. That's it. You're in the process of a deep and beautiful change. You're here to change in this deck, right? When should I call on you for guidance? When should I call on you for guidance? When should I call on you for guidance? Thank you, beautiful spirit, for all of your guidance, love, and light. I should call on this deck for guidance when I need a gentle gardener. Um, what does the gentle gardener say? Be your own person. Be a conscious co-creator. So this is a good deck to um, to kind of go back to the well and, and do conscientious co-creation. Um, Um, so I almost feel like this is a deck to get back into alignment to self, being your true and most authentic self so that you can co-create with source. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so this is when I should call on you for guidance is when I need to get back into alignment with source. Um, 
back into alignment with source and for, co for the purpose of co-creation. What is the best way to work with you? What is the best way to work with you? With intention. Come to this, this card deck with intention. I like this one. This is like a, this is great. Deliberate, clear intentions have the power to change your world. Um, all right. And what were, will our relationship, what will our relationship be like? Wow, it just like flew out. Um, magic, prayer, and storm fields. I feel like, uh, <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm coming here for magic prayers um, in, st in storm clouds, okay? 32. Speak your prayers, listen for the answers, and act in faith. And then nine. This too shall pass. So I'll, I'll be coming to this deck in my... Um, in my deepest times of need, I feel like, is what this is saying. What a lovely, lovely deck. I, I am very pleased. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, what a beautiful, lovely deck that she has here. Um, I, I will likely use this more than I use even Wisdom of the Oracle, so which is a beautiful, amazing deck, um, and so on point in the readings. Um, but this really feels very much like a shadow deck. Uh, to learn about those deep dark places um, and I'm really working shadow um, right now so um, this will definitely be um, definitely be something I work with quite a bit more all right well thank you so much for watching have a beautiful blessed day if you'd be kind enough to like subscribe and share comments like a thumbs up and a heart or something like that anything in the comment section um, just helps me grow the channel so thank you so much for watching have a beautiful blessed day